Mr Speaker. Point of order, the, Mr Speaker. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Sorry, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to move a motion without notice to congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her 90th birthday. Is there any objection to that course of action being followed? There is none. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I move that this House congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her 90th birthday. On the 21st of April this year, Queen Elizabeth II celebrated her 90th birthday. New Zealand has marked this occasion in a number of ways, including in the naming of this year's Queen's Birthday Honours List, with 21 gun salutes on the 21st of April and again yesterday, and with a service of celebration at Wellington's Cathedral tomorrow evening. The Queen's life has spanned some extraordinary events, changes and celebrations. She was born in 1926 when the New Zealand population was just 1.4 million people and Gordon Coates was Prime Minister. She became Queen of New Zealand when she was 25 years of age. Much has been said of the Queen's lifetime of service and she is widely respected for the grace and dignity she has brought to her reign. She's also been supportive and encouraging of some profound changes in society, technology and culture over the years. A striking example is the way the Commonwealth has altered since the young Princess Elizabeth uh, made her pledge of lifelong service on her 21st birthday in 1947. That pledge was to the people of the British Commonwealth and Empire, which included the seven independent members of the Commonwealth, of which New Zealand was one. This year, <coughs> in her Commonwealth Day message, Her Majesty spoke of diversity, inclusiveness and acting for the common good. The audience for that message was the populations of 53 independent countries. The Commonwealth today includes some of the world's largest, smallest, richest and poorest countries, spanning five regions. They have all chosen to join this organisation and retain a link to its shared inheritance and value. That is, I believe, a testament to the Queen's stewardship of the Commonwealth family in a way that has enabled it to adapt and remain relevant through some remarkable changes. The Queen has been a steadfast figure in New Zealand's national consciousness and the embodiment of our system of constitutional monarchy and as a touchstone for our democratic principles and institutions. Today I'm pleased to announce New Zealand's gift to the Queen to mark her 90th birthday. A new education centre at the Pukiahu National War Memorial Park has been chosen as the gift from New Zealand to acknowledge the special event for the Queen and will be named the Queen Elizabeth II Pukiahu Education Centre. I wish to offer my warmest congratulations to Her Majesty the Queen. The question is that the motion